So what's the you're going to do a gaming channel again? Yeah, I think so. I think I want to get back into doing like I, I think I want to do some let's plays since I've got all this equipment now and I've got my computer is ridiculous. My computer is super powerful, so I can batch render <laughs> out these things. My computer ate my old computer and that's and just how powerful it is. Yeah, it literally consumed my old <laughs> computer and and absorbed its energies. Um, <laughs> so now I can batch render out like fifty episodes of like whatever Fallout, Dead Space. I'm a huge Skyrim fan. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some Let's Plays and do like some Call of Duty stuff to probably do like a Call of Duty video a week because I don't know. That's, oh God! Everybody does Call of Duty. Yeah, it's getting rough in here. Use your stasis. What stasis again? Uh, aim and then press Y. All right. But I put up some pretty ridiculous COD scores. I'm not gonna be able to tell anybody any super secret, uh, you know, tips. I think that's that's more your bag, but. I'm occasionally gonna break out with like a hundred kill COD game or something like there that. There you maybe go. Maybe two hundred. May, I don't know about two. Yeah, yeah, yeah th maybe three hundred. You never know. If you want, you know. If I want, if I feel like it that day, you know, it just depends. <laughs> yeah. If I have a Red Bull, who knows what could happen? Some days you go knife wins. only, and you can only get like 60, 70 kills. Yeah, that's that's just the way shit goes. But yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the channel. I, I'm trying to get um, a diff my old channel unlocked. I don't remember the passwords for it or anything, but um, I'm working on that right now with directly with YouTube getting that done. But I may I may actually just get a uh, make a whole new channel. But I don't know. We'll figure it out as it goes along. Right now, I'm having fun stomping these guys. That's what. I, look at this. When you stomp these guys, they explode. Like shit falls off of this guy. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. Oh, oh! That one actually scared me a little. <laughs> nice! You just went American History X on that guy. <laughs> oh, that was a brutal scene. That was. That was the best part of the movie. There have been two curb stompings that, that, that are memorable in, in film for me. One is that American <laughs> History X one. The other is there's an episode of The Sopranos where, like, this dude is, like, being nasty toward Tony's daughter, and he goes and curb stomps again. And you see the teeth roll out, and one of the teeth are in, like, the cuff of his pants later on. It's 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 an excellent scene. I, um, I remember... Wait. Oh, we should, um, aim and press B and kinesis yeah. these things together. That's what I'm doing. I'm way ahead of you. Yeah, I'm not really doing it. <laughs> well, I'll do it. Oh, you are definitely doing the lion's share of the work. I oh, I was at the end. That's why. Yeah, the game conspired against you. That's what happened. <laughs> Look, I was pulling the wrong train or something. Uh -huh, like sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the reasons. Dude. Yeah, see, show me. Show me. Show, ahead. show me how you pull the train. Demonstrate. Right. Oh, that's right. Okay, so maybe I need to do... Look at the track. It stops here. It stops here. Okay, well, I moved the other train. Yeah, should, what we, do I do? should we take the train? Press press your magic uh, tell us what to do button. Apparently, we go in the train or under it or something. Oh, did it just go straight down and not lead you anywhere? It led me... It keeps leading me to the middle of the train. I feel like this whole track needs to be rotated. Yeah, that we did something wrong. Alright, so that's not it. This is one of the aspects that some people don't like about Dead Space, but I'm, I'm kind of fond of the little puzzle aspect, like Laura Croft style. So how are you... I, I get the stasis to go, but how do you, like, tell the train to do something? Um, I don't know how to tell it to do something. Like, I just sort of use my dark force on it, and then how do I direct it? Uh, with your right stick, or by moving, I guess? Maybe I need to do it from here. Man. I feel like, I feel like this platform needs to be rotated. Hmm. So that the trains line up, you know? Let's look around for maybe a button somewhere. Ooh, I probably don't want to go down there. Because, like, that, that train that's in the center, like this train right here, 
it looks to me like if it were rotated around and it was attached to that train over there, then it would take then off. Then we'd be in business. All right. Yeah. We need to find some sort of... I'm looking for a switch or a lever, and I don't want to go this way, because it looks like I'm going to... Oh, it won't even let me. Oh, wait. Okay, oh. cool. Oh, here's... What about... You definitely moved it. Is that good? Um... I think we're going to push this thing off the platform, uh, rotate it, and then grab the other one, and we'll hook him up. Yep. Woody's gamer tag for the win. Very good. Apparently that is exactly what we're supposed Once to do. Once it gets on, I bet it just rotates I bet for it just us. rotates. Awesome. Because yeah, that's how trains work in the future. They're puzzles. <laughs> oh, and they're all hooked up as far as I can tell. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, I wanna... Yeah, dude. Here's a ladder. I I'm afraid it's gonna run me over if I do something... I Okay, I bet we go in the back right up this ramp. And there may be some assholes in here. <laughs> oh, shucks! Oh, there's, there's bad, bad guys behind us. I'll How watch do I it. shut the door? It shuts on its own. I'll kind of watch our... Oh, Alright, it locked behind us. Oh, I got some porno mags over here. Where? Right here. That's like a Sports Illustrated, I think. I think it says bodies on it. It's like hot bodies or something. The top one, though, it says sports on it. Mm. Interstellar sport. And sexy bodies. What kind of interstellar sports are they Are they into in the future, you think? Oh, Quidditch, maybe? <laughs> Quidditch, for sure. <laughs> I, I think low-gravity sports would be a... Ooh, where are you going? Yeah, lead the way, Woody. I'm on it. So oh, this is gonna be a good. This is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna give you a little cover fire while you climb. I can't aim. Oh wait, now I can. All right, I'm coming up the ladder. It's hard to aim on a moving train. Yeah. It there's definitely right. some sort of like movement. What's the opposite of an assist? A desist? <laughs> yeah, know. yeah, we're, we're, it's, everything's wobbly. Everything's wobbly. At least these guys don't mutate, that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's good, it's nice killing people instead of monsters. Yeah, it's totally my preference. How did you get down? Did you just hit A? Um, there was a, uh, oh. partner needs more space, there was a ladder. It worked for me this time, I don't know. I gotcha. Yeah, everything about walking on this train is a little trickier. This reminds me of a uh, scene from Gears of War. Yeah! There you go. Oh, I am full Are of ammo. Are we supposed to jump into this flying thing or something? Yeah! I, did you do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, Are you hanging lucky by I'm your here. fingertips? You're lucky I'm here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Upper body oh, shit. strength, all the way. Watch me curl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, your full body weight, suit and all. You keep talking. Do nothing without your helmet. I I wasn't even wearing the helmet. I for know. That. Now you no gotta helmet. be on my level. Now just, you just picked Woody's gamer tag up like he was a like a bag of rocks. He didn't care. <laughs> just threw him up over my shoulder. A sack him. of potatoes. Sack of potatoes. <laughs> Not a bad I like beard. how Isaac's hair has gone grayer and grayer for every <laughs> one. Mine would be white at this point if I dealt with as much evil. We're kind of friends. Yeah. You're a bit of a douche. I mean, look at my face, dude. I got an excuse. Is it because I stole your girlfriend? Is that how much pussy you think that that my character is getting with that face? Seriously. <laughs> Unless in the future, like that's cool. 
not much. <laughs> so I'm we have an objective up. here. Whoever these guys are, they went through a lot of trouble to find me. But there's one thing I learned from Sprawl. It said it's a, trust is a dangerous thing. Norton better have some answers. Dude, Norton totally made the over. Oh, he did, did 90 he? seconds, yeah. But he abandoned us. Yeah. You know, we lost him way back when, when we were dealing with those guys. You gonna hold a grudge? I am. Look, if we're all in a gunfight together and one guy kind of just disappears, <laughs> he, he bitched out. Yeah, he did kind of bitch out. I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Super finder thing. This way. The, follow me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, I love super finder thing. It's, Whoa. It should be in every game. Call of Duty needs this. Call of Duty might not. That's one game that's totally on rails. But Bioshock yeah, you know, needs that's, it. That's a good point. I actually maybe what Call of Duty needs is more paths that you can take. Ah. Because it is on rails. I would like it better if, uh, you know... See, the old Call of Duty is like in Call of Duty like 1 and 2. It was all about finding the alternate route so you could flank the enemy and stuff. Now it's kind of like head first into danger and get it done. That's actually... Yeah, I never played 1, but I did play 2. And uh, I agree. You were always tr like trying to flank those tanks. Yeah, running and, up the like, middle was, gun in, was a fool's errand. Yeah, you were always like finding some other room where you could go upstairs mm -hmm. and shoot from the window. Yeah. You'd climb a bell tower, there'd be a sniper rifle, and you'd handle it. Yeah. De-shocking? I think they're going into like warp mode. I think they're leaving warp mode. Oh, yeah. they are. You're correct. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Should I have stasis that? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think we're just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> My guy's so negative. You know what I miss? What? In Dead Space 1, there was that hot chick with the big ass, and that's what you were looking at through scenes like this. Dude, <laughs> that's totally how I play single-player games. There's usually some girl who's, like, mega fit, and I'm just, like, crouching, crouch-walking behind her. Yeah, game developers are, well, I mean, let's be honest, they're nerds, and... They're horny nerds because they're always on the internet looking at porn. So they're they're <laughs> making some. Their female characters have enormous everything. <laughs> yeah, they're. they're uh, I love female armor. It's like she needs yeah. that. Oh yeah. Oh like, wait wait. Like, what is this thing? Ooh, what do you got here? Here. On your screen, did I give it to you or did you give it to me? Uh, you gave it to me. You gave it to another guy actually. Yeah, I assume that guy's. Oh right, that's not you. Yeah, my my guy's you, guy Captain with a Ugly. fucked up face. Yeah, 